hello friends welcome to my channel so we are continuing with our topic that is test on cement so in this video we are going to cover the all the remaining three tests that is chemical composition test heat of hydration test and specific surface area test so all the previous tests are available in the previous video so you can check check it out so we will move forward with the chemical composition test so this is our seventh test that is chemical composition of cement so first of all we will see what is the significance of this test so this test is used to determine the chemical requirement of cement okay so this test determines the chemical requirements okay the chemical requirements of cement okay and of cement and this cement may be opc or maybe rsc or any other type okay the is code which is followed to perform these chemical composition test it is is 269 okay and it is firstly derived in 1976 so is 269 it is follow for the chemical composition of cement test so first of all we will quickly see what is the chemical compositions of cement so the chemical compositions of the cements are like lime then we say silica alumina iron oxides then magnesia and alkalis alkalis and the chemical formulas for lime cao silica sio2 alumina al2o3 iron oxides fe2o3 magnesia mgo okay now we will move towards the procedure so firstly as we know that we have to determine the chemical requirements of this particular ingredients or chemical compositions so first step that we follow is we take the ratio okay so we take ratio and the ratio of lime okay ratio of lime to silica then alumina silica alumina and iron oxides is taken out okay and iron oxide is taken out so in the first so initially we take the ratio of lime to silica alumina and oxides and then it is calculated by formula okay so it is calculated by using formula and the formula is cao minus 0.7 so3 and this this whole term is divided by 2.8 sio2 okay plus 1.2 al2o3 okay and plus 0.65 fe2o3 okay fe2o3 so as we take the ratio of lime to silica alumina and iron oxides so for the lime cao minus 0.7 so3 and this whole term is divided by silica 2.8 times silica plus 1.2 times alumina plus 0.65 times iron oxide okay so this is the formula which is used to determine the chemical requirement so this is the first ratio that we takes out and to form the quality cement or to achieve the quality of the cement this ratio of the lime to all these ingredients should be less than 1.2% okay so it should be less than 1.2% now we will move towards the second ratio the second ratio that we take second ratio that we take it is of alumina and iron oxide okay alumina to iron oxide and the result of this ratio should be greater than 0.66 okay it should be greater than 0.66 now we will see the next parameter then we calculate the weight of insoluble matter okay so the weight of insoluble matter or we can say that insoluble residue also okay and then we take the 
next parameter that is weight of mag magnesia okay. weight of magnesia then fifth one our fifth observation which we made in the chemical composition that is total sulfate content okay. total sulfate content and the last observation sixth observation that we measure, measure or we take that is total loss on ignition okay. total loss on loss on ignition okay. now we will see the criteria of this particular particular parameter so the weight of insoluble matter or residue it should be less than 1.5 okay then the weight of magnesia should be less than 6% and then the total sulfate content it should be less than 2.75% and the total loss on ignition it should be less than 4% should be less than 4% and the ratio of alumina and oxide should be greater than 0.66 okay so to achieve the good quality cement the, we take the we determine the chemical requirements by using this formula for first of all we take the ratio of lime to silica alumina and on iron oxide then we calculate it by the formula that is CaO minus 0.7 SO3 and it divided wholly by 2.8 SiO2 plus 1.2 Al2O3 plus 0.65 Fe2O3 then the say in the second parameter that we check out the ratio that is of alumina and iron oxide which should be greater than 0.66 then we take the next measure that is weight of insoluble matter or residue that is should be that should be less than 1.5 then weight of magnesia should be less than 6% then total sulfate content should be less than 2.75 percent and total losses on the ignition should be less than 4 percent so this is all about the chemical composition of cement so this is our next test that is heat of hydration so first of all we see what is meant by heat of hydration so it is the setting of cement okay so it is simply setting of cement which is occurs due to addition of water addition of water into cement okay into cement and this process is known as hydration okay this process is known as hydration okay and this hydration process is exothermic in nature okay so it is exothermic in nature and that means it evolves the heat of hydration or it simply evolves the heat okay and this process of hydration is exothermic and evolves the heat okay and this process this total process is known as heat of hydration and this heat of hydration can be determined by using two method or two test first one is adiabatic calorimeter test adiabatic calorimeter test or we use vacuum flask test okay or we can use vacuum flask test okay the heat of hydration that is evolves we measure it in the calorie per gram okay so unit is calorie per gram now to achieve the good quality cement or in the good quality cement the heat of hydration should be for opc okay so for opc after uh, after seven days okay or at seven day it should be less than 65 calorie per gram okay and after 20 days it should be less than 75 calorie per gram okay so this is about the heat of hydration test now we will move towards our last test that is specific surface test so first of all we will see that what is meant by specific surface so it is simply the surface area okay it is the surface area which is occupied by surface area 
which is occupied by one gram of cement okay one gram of cement particle okay. and on basis of the surface area three grades of cements are from form that is grade 33 grade 43 and grade 53 okay now the specific surface area that we test for these particular grades we can directly write here the minimum specific surface area should be 2250 okay and for grade 43 and 53 it should be near to 3400 and for 53 also 3400 and this sur surface area is represented in centimeter square per gram okay it is in the centimeter square per gram this grade 33 it is followed by IS269 then grade 43 it is followed by IS8112 okay and grade 53 it is followed by IS12269 so this is all about the specific surface test and along with that the specific gravity that we C or that we checked in the good cement so specific gravity of the OPC cement it should be 3.1 okay 3.1 so this is all about the various test which we perform on the cement to achieve its good quality so this is the last video of our cement syllabus so in the next video we will continue with the next topic that is aggregates so thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe